We're going to begin now by creating a uh, Python file, which I'm going to call test.py, and then we're just going to open it with whatever editor we want. I'm going to choose um, Sublime, which is opened here on my other monitor. I want to show you two ways in which we can actually pass command line arguments to our Python script. Now by default on Python we can actually do this with two modules and those are system and the other one is argpass. Now the reason I want to show you both though is because argpass it actually uses system because argpass is a interface for us to kind of work with it where system is just the default just grab the stuff from the command line whereas argpass actually gives us some more functionality and it will make our code a bit neater too. So I quickly want to show you sys though, or system. So with system, there's only two things we really want to do, which is why I'm just going to quickly show you it. And the first thing is we, we might want to print how many arguments there are. And we do this with system.argv, like so. And then the other thing we actually want to see is a string. And that string is our actual variables inside our arguments. So that's it. I'm not going to give any context, we know what they are, so this is going to give us the number of parameters we have, uh, and then this is going to actually print a list of arguments, and you're going to see why we want to use argpass. So if we go back to our command line now, and we know our script is called test.py, so the way we pass arguments then is we just do our usual, we call our Python script like this, we do pythons3 test.py, and then this is where we would pass uh, parameters. So here we can put egg, for example, and I'm just going to do one parameter. And when we print it, notice our actual number is 2 and not 1. And the reason for that is when we're using sys uh, or system, the system module from Python, it actually considers our script name a argument. Now, of course, we don't want this. Uh, if we wanted to, we could remove it. And we would do this by creating a for loop. So what we could do is for i in range, and then we'll just say it's zero, and we'll say length uh, sys.argv. Then what we might want to do is say if um, i does not equal zero, then we actually want to print uh, system.argv, remember this is a list, i. So we're now going to print it, and we just get egg of course. Now it would probably be more appropriate this time if we used a few more, and we're still going to say that there's two arguments because we've just removed one of the arguments essentially, the first one, which is our script. Uh, so we could say egg, and we could say ham, and we could say peas, um, and this way we've iterated through the list and we've actually grabbed our egg, our ham and our peas, which is lovely for us. So that's the first way that we can, you know, from that you can do, with that you can do whatever you want. That's all the information you need really from the script, but it's not necessarily neat. Um, so we're going to use argpass next. So hopefully you've made it this far. I'm now going to show you how to use argpass, which is just better than system in every single way imaginable. So we're going to get rid of all of that code and we're going to get rid of this to just tidy up our code. And all we're going to do is import argpass. Uh, so let's begin. So I said at the beginning of the video that I was going to show you how to do this, how to use argpass in the context of machine learning. Now I didn't mean that I was actually going to do any machine learning, that would be a much longer video and would be a bit of a waste of time. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a machine learning-esque uh, script, you know, it's not going to have any functionality, but it's what you might imagine a machine learning script to look like that does multiple things, and it's going to be really cool. So let's get started. So I don't want to waste my time coding, so what I've done is I've created a clone document, I've put it on my right hand side monitor, and I'm just going to copy and paste uh, relevant pieces of code across and explain them as we go. So hopefully you're sat there and you're uh, copying the code though, so you can actually do something awesome. So let's start. Firstly we have to create an object with argpass. That's not surprised, this is what Python does with pretty much every uh, module. So we're going to create this object called AP, 
and it's going to allow us to uh, use the methods from argparse, which is going to allow us to do some really neat stuff. Uh, so this is kind of what we need. Um, so we said before I'm going to do it in the context of machine learning. So what would we want from a variable machine learning script? Well, what if we could pass different data to the same script? And we could also maybe even, you know, if we're doing a classification problem, what if we could select which classifier we want just from the command line? That's kind of the goal, so that's going to be really cool. So let's start by creating two arguments. The first argument is going to be our data. So what we've done is we've created an argument and the way we're going to call this argument is by um, doing either d like this or data. And you can see in the help section I've written path to data. So this might be an image if you're doing computer vision. So you might have some path and then it would be a picture of me.png for example. And the same goes for, so it's looking just for a path to some data and you could do the same here. So this is how we can call it. This is how we can pass the argument. So it's given us some extra parameters that we can do. And then secondly, I said about a, a classification problem. So we're going to create another argument now and it's going to allow us to pass the classifier we want. And we've obviously going to have a select list of classifiers. So we've got K and N, which is also our default value, which means that if we forget to put a argument for a classifier, then it's just going to go ahead and choose uh, K and N as our default. Of course, with data that doesn't really work because we need some data input. You could have some default data, I suppose. And um, the other uh, classifiers to choose from I've put is a KNN. Then we've got a naive Bayes, random forest, and a support vector machine. Uh, so those are two. That's how we create arguments. So that's it. And you can just create as many arguments as you want with uh, different letters. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually pass these arguments. We're going to say we're done now and our args, our arguments, is going to be our object that we've created with these arguments and we're going to pass these arguments. How many times did I say arguments? I don't know. Um, so what do we want to know now? Well in this case it's important that we have data. So if there's no data then we kind of want to do some uh, guess error detection or just making sure our program doesn't crash. So I'm actually going to just print all of this. Let's copy this across. So we're saying if not args.get data. So data is what we've called this, remember. Um, and that's just saying it's false and we haven't found any. Then so there's no data to work with dot dot dot. Um, Otherwise, what we want to do is we actually want to print. We don't have to do this, but we want to print the data set and we want to print whatever algorithm we're using. So let's just do that. Now here I'm using format, but it's really simple. It's just going to put um, these values uh, in their respective curly brackets. So we're going to have data set uh, is equal to our data argument and then our classifier, probably should put classifier here, but it's going to say, it's going to put our classifier here, whatever we choose, so it might say K and N or something. So hopefully that's nice and simple to understand. Now we can actually go ahead and start printing a few things. So actually, again, I don't need to type this out because I've typed this out. If you don't like this, by the way, then you should say in the comments, if you prefer for me to type it out, I can always do that. I just thought this was quicker and better for you. So we're now going to print three things. We're going to print args, just vanilla, just so we can see what's going on. Then we're going to print uh, our classifier and we're going to print our data. Again, we're not actually doing any machine learning. We're not, we don't have any data. Um, so we're just going to make it up, if you will. And then there's something else we want to do after this, but I'm just going to actually run this script now. So if we actually go ahead and go back to our terminal, uh, 
let's just test all the cases, I guess. We can just do Python 3 test.py and it says, look, there's no data to work with, but we're still trying to print uh, arguments. So we've got our data is none and our classifier is our default value, which is KNN and then KNN, KNN again, again, because that was our um, classifier and then none again, because we have no data. So how do we actually add some data? Well, we can use this minus, we can use this D. So let's just say test Python, and then we do um, uh, dash D like this, and our data is just going to be, um, let's, it doesn't matter, let's make up some place. So we're going to say data, and then we're going to say monkhouse dot text, and now it says KNN, but I think what we should do is we're going to choose a different classifier. So now we do minus C. And what were our classifiers to work from? Well, we had KNN and we had naive Bayes. So let's try that. Let's do N Bayes. And we actually got that to work. So we've got our data set. Look, it's data forward slash monkhouse.txt. Pretty cool. And then our, I'm going to change just the classifier actually. Actually, algorithm is fine, uh, which is naive Bayes, and then we've got the whole thing here again. We probably don't need to print this, to be honest. I don't want to print the whole argument. In fact, we don't need this either because we've got we're printing this. This looks much better. So let's get rid of all of this. Run that script again. And look, we get our data set and we get our algorithm. So that's really cool. Uh, we're not quite done yet, so stick around for another minute or so. What you would do now, of course, is, well, what can you do with these classifiers? They, they do need to be predefined in your program. That's true. So something that we traditionally do, or something that you can do, is we can create a dictionary, right? And what's really cool is it will actually allow us to kind of search the dictionary with a string, so our argument. And then we could do something. So imagine we're using OpenCV or something like this. And, you know, you might be able to do something like CV2.KNN. Not quite, but you might be able to do something like that, which would then allow you to apply the KNN algorithm to our data set. For now, I'm just going to pass strings. And all we're going to do is we're going to print this line here at the bottom. And this is going to say print. And then we're going to choose our classifiers dictionary. We're going to pass our argument to it, which basically means it's going to say, look, K, um, N Bayes, naive Bayes. So it's going to go through our dictionary and go, naive Bayes is here. What it wants you to print is this algorithm dot N Bayes. So that's what we're now going to print. Uh, so let's just do this Python script again. And there you go. This is essentially what our program would be. We've got our data and now we've called this algorithm dot n Bayes. Um, now this would usually be an actual program, you know, you could use sklearn, something like that. Uh, something else I want to show you, really cool, hopefully you're still here, um, is the following. So I think we can now do it like this. There you go. So by doing dash, uh, dash dash help, it actually tells us now all of the possible arguments for that Python script. And it even gives us some information about it. So look, it's our path. So what does this parameter want, minus D? Well, it wants our path to our data. What about classify? What does that want? Uh, here, it wants, it wants you to give a classification algorithm and it wants you to choose from these these ones that we've pre-programmed, you know. So that's kind of really it. Um, hopefully that was useful to you. Uh, I hope you watched the whole video. I think it was pretty cool that we can do this and we can really enhance our machine learning uh, and make it like more really interactive. And I think it's pretty cool. Now, I've got a really cool video coming out at the end of this month where I'm going to write a chatbot for Bitcoin, essentially. So if you want to see that, then subscribe and stick around. And uh, thank you for watching.